This might be it. I think this is it. Let me know. Can you hear me okay? 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 Okay, bingo. All right. I'm I'm pretty bad at this. Okay, so here we go. Ready? There's a transition, and it's a rough one, between Sunday and Monday. Because you wake up Sunday morning, it's like, oh, I got a day, I can do stuff. But Monday is like, boom, work. And the and the the stark transition of that creates a thought interruption. And definitely sometimes a like a panic, like, am I ready? What do I have to do? Who do I have to call? What do I have to write? What people say about me on Facebook and other interesting elements of life. But there's an old song by the Mamas and the Papas called Monday, Monday. And the first line is, can't trust that day. Like, seriously? The reason you can't trust what's going on in your world, whether it's Monday or Friday, is that you don't trust yourself. You don't believe enough in who you are. And I'm going to post this up there. Trust yourself first. And that's a Gittimer saying. You don't trust yourself. Who the hell can you trust? Or what can you trust? Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah, there's a lot of crap going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's about you, isn't it? Isn't this about you? I think that there's an element of this whole thing that says, hey, um, it's about me. And, I mean, it's always been about me. So this is what I'm going to do today. This is my Monday. Yes, I have some appointments, two or three. So I'll fulfill those obligations for sure. But I also want to spend time on me today. So I'm going to read a little bit about thinking. Boom, my thinker shirt on. And I'm going to read a little bit from Thinker Toys about creativity. And then I'm going to write down five things that I want to work on. And I'm going to think about them out loud. I'm going to think about them out loud as I record what it is that I'm thinking. So I will be verbalizing my thought process, capturing it in some kind of, a lot of people are using Otter now. I'm still using MacBook. uh, I'm still using um, Nuance Dragon for Mac. (laughs) But you can use Siri. You can use anything. I think that there's an ability for you to justify who you are to yourself and then revel in who you are to yourself and then start to trust yourself. You're okay. You're all smart. There's nobody here is stupid. Nobody. And now your job is to get yourself in a position where you can make that happen. And the only way you're going to do it is dedicate some time to yourself. So write down your five projects, five things. Write them. And then talk them. This will bring you clarity. It'll bring not only clarity, um, it'll also bring new ideas. I promise, promise, your five things.
write them down, and then talk them. This will bring you clarity. It will also bring new ideas. Get them. Right. And when you do that, I just put it in the chat. When you do that, things are going to happen for you that you weren't thinking about before. When you start to talk, ideas start to flow. Now, I pump myself up a little bit. I'll read a little about thinking. I'll read a little bit about creativity. So I set my own tone. But some people are literally afraid to do that. Like, what could you possibly be afraid of? Just, dude, roll with it. You're there. <sighs> okay, I'm going to say hello to a couple people. I apologize for the lack of audio, but shit happens. Someone was screwing around with my machine and they turned it off. There you go. Great morning from Colorado. It's better to be told to wait than wait to be told. <laughs> I agree. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Whoa, C.S. Lewis. Whoa. Whoa. I have some C.S. Lewis stuff that I haven't read yet. I have so many things to read. So little time to do it. But thank you for that, Beck. Serendipities, God's remaining anonymous, Jeffrey Gittimer. Boom. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you. Good day from Memphis. No audio. No audio. No audio. <laughs> no audio. No audio. No audio. Okie dokie. I got it. I got no audio. I can see you, but I can't hear you. Good morning, money. Money making Monday. Making money Monday. That's it. Taru, good evening to you, sir. And Gino, good evening for you. We need Maestro, we need audio. Yes, you got it. That's funny. Probably gold, but can't hear. <laughs> we need to learn lip reading. Now you do it. Now a lot. Pasquale, live from London. How are you, sir? Good evening, Frank Nell. All right. Need lip reading exactly. All right, here we go. Bingo. Got it. Oof, on, yes, success, yes, audio working, got sound, yes, okay, anyway. Foghorn Leghorn on thought process. Reminds me of Paul Revere's ride. Little light in the, in the belfry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, ever, thank you for everyone that can hear me. Very nice. Facebook equals audio is working, not LinkedIn. I think they're all working now. Great now. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now, the great Glenn Bill. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Pre game yesterday, our kids won. That hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Whoa. Well, my team worked hard yesterday. They still didn't win. Um, I think I'm going to call it a season. And during that two hour period where I would have watched the game, for three-hour period, I'm going to write, dedicated to that. I guarantee you by the end of the year, I'll have a book, and the Eagles will still have a losing season. LinkedIn is working now. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, Bill, call me anytime. Glenn, Bill, call me anytime today, please. Okay. Everyone's saying hello to everybody. I love it. Kent, good. Good evening, Toru. Shared it out. Larry, thank you. Good morning from beautiful Yardley on the Delaware. Mm -mm -mm. Off to conquer this week. Now you're talking. The world was won by tired men. Whoa. Um, my child is introducing me to Bo Burnham, a movie called Inside. Anybody have any comment on that? Has anyone seen it? The one man movie that he shot, wrote, directed, edited, everything. And I'll tell you something, thought-provoking, damn good. I think you get it on, uh, I don't know, Netflix or Hulu or something. I, did, I didn't access it. Gabrielle did. Um, but Bo Burnham, the subtlety in it is phenomenal. This guy's a comedian, but he's also amazing. Got it? Bo 
Burnham, B-U-R-N-H-A-M, I think. I think. Inside. Just give it a try. I think you'll like it. It's, it's, um, you have to understand how the world is work, how the world is working right now. And if you do that, you're going to be fine. Working hard for something we don't care about is called stress. Working hard for something we love is called passion. Simon Sinek. Interesting fellow. Um, his books start with why is a wrong premise because you can ask why to yourself. You can't ask why to other people. Why do you do that? None of your business. Why do you buy that car? None of your business. Why did you take all your money out of the bank? None of your business. So start with why to yourself. Start with how did or what caused anything other than why to someone else. Yep. <clears throat> but Simon Sinek, smart guy. I'm just smart guy. Um, I don't want to say anything bad about somebody that I respect, but the premise is... Simon Sinek's probably never been married. That's all I'm saying. But I'm saving it anyway, Kent. Thank you. Dog barking somewhere. Um, here. This is it. Trust yourself first. If you do that, you're going to win. If you don't trust yourself, how the hell are you going to trust somebody else? How? And where is that going to lead you? You're always going to have a doubt. Well, I don't know whether I should do this or not. You know, you know who this person is. And you start talking yourself out of it. It's a great idea. You're talking yourself out of it. What are you, nuts? Sound is working now. Good. Eagles, I... They're over. They're over. Giants, they're listen, we are over. We can't win ball games. It's okay. I've been a fan, a Philadelphia fan since 1954. We've won maybe five championships in that time, maybe six. It's okay. Leave it alone. It'll be fine. I prefer a Fleetwood song about Monday. Oh, cool. All right. Cool. There's all kinds of songs about Monday. Your motivation determines how much you're willing to do. Your attitude determine, determines how well you're... Oh, man. You know what? This is, this is a great Lou Holtz quote. Not good. This is a great Lou Holtz quote. This is a smart guy. Do you know him and Harvey McKay talk every day? Probably didn't know that, did you? Well, there you go. Now you know. So worthwhile to have Harvey McKay as a friend. So worthwhile. You have no idea. Magic Monday. Okay, cool. There's a photo out there of Robin Williams handing the Rodin statue a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> oh, my God. Indiana has checked in and the Philippines has checked in. Sometimes we dumb things down so far it becomes a club. Yeah. Monday morning sure looks fine. King, good to see you, bud. Never give up on a dream because of the time it will take to accomplish it. The time will pass anyway. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, and... If your candle is not lit, you know what I mean? The candle you stick under your ass to take action, you're not going to take the action. I'm just saying. You need to take the action in order to become who you want to become or who you were meant to become. There's definitely a serendipity there. There's definitely a serendipity where this is exactly correct, Sneed. Think I can, think I can. Morning. 
one person with a belief is equal to a force of 99. I have no interest. Agreed. Totally agree. Morning, everybody. Your Monday mind too, onward and upward. My pleasure, Skinner. Ingrid, what a baseball babe. I love baseball babes. You know, there's nothing like nothing like them. Good afternoon from Port Hackort, city in Nigeria. Cool. Hello from Exton, Pennsylvania. Cool. Near a Wawa. See, when you're in Exton, you're right near a Wawa. These are your five things. Write them down. Whatever your five things are, write them down. Then talk about them into something that you record. This will bring clarity. It will bring new ideas. And you'll start to feel so much better about yourself. Yeah, this is like a great idea. Keep going. Write them down. Talk into a recording device. Bring your new ideas to it. Bring your clarity to it. And then go to town. Cool? You can do it. I, you can totally do this. Your soul message. The universe adores you. Cool. First rule of sales. Kick your own ass. First rule of time management. On to paper. Off the mind. No argument with that, bud. Banana pudding <laughs> at Loopy's. See, this is like a very subtle thing. <laughs> Not tonight. I apologize. Not tonight. Too much. I got I got meetings. Crazy meetings today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Tammy. Apparently, I've become deaf. No, you're fine. Missed what five things to write down. Your five things that you want to achieve or accomplish in your life. Five most important things to you right now. The five projects. The five things you wish would happen. The five goals that you have, the five, anything, your five things. But thanks for clarifying. You have a choice about how you look at the world around you. That's true. That's true. Um, make them tell you no. Sure. The Cowboys took it in the shorts yesterday. I've recovered. I'm so happy. <laughs> Sounds good now. All right. Um, wow. <sighs> you may have to fight a little bit more of a battle more than you may have to fight a battle more than once to win it. No argument with that. Lewis, brilliant. I'm brilliant. I'm not good, brilliant. Margaret Thatcher, man. Margaret Thatcher's famous quote, what is it? About socialism, what is it? It's one of the most classic quotes of all time. You ready? Margaret Thatcher. Socialism. Eventually, you run out of other people's money. My quote about socialism, get a fucking job. Just saying. Jack Dillon's book is damn good, by the way. Bo Burnham inside you. Go, just find them. My three favorite things are cooking, my family, and not using commas. <laughs> well said. Well said. Turn your wounds into wisdom. Oprah Winfrey. Getting the job started is simple compared to getting the job done. Harvey McKay. Whoa. Whoa. Harvey McKay, man, what a freaking guy. All right, sending it off to him. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Yep, there we go. Sent. Good morning. Discover the top five. Write them down. Give them life by reading them aloud. Yep. Give them life by speaking to them. Value something that benefits you. Cool. 
Why did I move to Paris? Hi, Michael. You moved to Paris because it's a cool place. I was in Michael's. It's nice to see you, by the way. I was in Michael's living room where he had a terracotta statue of the Statue of Liberty. Unbelievable. I'm drinking a little glass of wine, and this guy's showing me the Statue of Liberty. Michael, I hope you're doing well. I hope to see you soon. We're a little bit not allowed to go to Paris, or Paris is not allowed to go to see us, but we'll be there this summer. Come hell or high water. Nice to see you. Really, really nice to see you. If you're going through hell, keep going. <laughs> oh, my God. If you want to tell people why you moved to Paris, do it. Um, look what it's done for you. You get to wake up in a city that's unbelievable. Your kids are bilingual. Come on. Unbelievable. Were you still wearing leather helmets when you were a kid? No, no. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy is an international shopper. And he'll take you to Marsha Puce or anywhere you want to go and buy you the best, coolest antiques on the planet. Just a great guy. You know, I have to. I'm saving you. And that way I'll be sure I can reconnect. You got to smile before you save. I mean, that's one of the classic rules of all time. Um, boom. All right, you're saved. Now you're talking. Sending it. It's gone. Dave Duncan. A salary is something a company pays you to forget your dreams. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Guess I better save that one, even though Kevin O'Leary is not one of my favorite people. If anyone would like personal information, just email me. I'll try to get it to you. When you have money, sometimes you think that that equals knowledge and power. When, in fact, and my dad taught me this, money equals one thing. Good seats. Jeffrey, your email address, please. It is my name, Jeffrey at Gittimer.com. Jeffrey at Gittimer.com. I just posted it. <clears throat> Coachman, jump the line. Yeah, jump the line is it's a great title. It's a great title. In New York City, I believe they call it cut the line, but whichever way. What if your candle is barely lit? How do you make it light brighter? You gently, gently, you tip the wax and then you blow on it ever so, ever so, ever so gently and it will shine brighter. But the way to get your candle to light a little bit brighter is to do something about it. You have to dedicate yourself to your own candle. It's the only one you got. And when you get it lit brighter, you stick it under your ass so that you're rolling. Let it burn. Let it burn because eventually it burns out. One of the most interesting things about candles is in our religion, on the anniversary of someone's death, you light a candle for 24 hours to remember them. It's called a yurtzeit candle. Say a prayer and light a candle in their memory, but to me, it's in their honor. Jen and I do it. She's got grandparents who passed. I do it for parents and grandparents. It's up to you. But you should always remember the people who have lived because that once a year time will bring back stories. I promise. Try it. Light a fire under your ass came from the master of chimney sweeps in London. Way back away, you can boy climb up a chimney. That's classic. That's classic. 
That is totally classic. Our team is 10 and 3, 10, 3 and 1. One more game and no one can beat us. <laughs> cool. I love it. I totally love it. Add fuel. Morning, Jerry. A prophet is not without honor, except in his own town, Matthew. <laughs> uh, light a fire in others, not under them. Really good one. Really good one, Eisenhower. But I'm telling you, sometimes people just need a candle under their ass. As you know, from cleaning chimneys. Or from sweeping chimneys, I should say. And there you go. All right. Sending this one. I, I'm definitely sending this to myself, Jerry. Thank you. Learn something new every day. That's me. Every day. Baseball babes. Debbie Fields, Mrs. Fields, cookies were an A's ball girl. Oh, wow. Debbie Fields, Mrs. Fields Cookies was an A's ball girl in the mid-70s. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I think Debbie Fields is Mormon. Why do I think that? Maybe Doug can corroborate that. Is Debbie Fields Mormon? The problem with socialism, eventually you run out of other people's money. That's Margaret Thatcher. Battles not fought to win the war. There's capturing weapons, prisoners. I agree. I totally agree. Came in late. Good day. Re-listen, Joe, think about it. I would rewind this and play it again for yourself from the beginning. It's worth it. Having five kids was an early goal of mine. Found out that two was plenty. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so good. There's my email address. Got it? Spell Jeffrey correctly, please. Perhaps... <laughs> Oh, Sneed, you're killing us this morning. Dave Duncan quoting Mr. Wonderful. Love it. Broncos were great yesterday, shouting out the Cowboys. I'm telling you. Broncos killed them. There's a chimney cleaning company on Long Island, and they show up in top hats and tails. That's how they're supposed to do it. Great marketing. So, guys, time for me to go. Um, totally love you. Let me see if I can go back to my own stuff here. Bo Burnham, inside. If it, Somebody please get it and watch it, and then let me know what you think about it. I would greatly appreciate that. I got to fly. I'll see you tomorrow morning in the Insiders Club. 959 will we be we will be rediscussing and re-evaluating your ability to think, write, and speak. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna give you a couple of insights tomorrow about how I gave my speech on Saturday, and I will look forward to talking to you. Cheers, health, make a sale, be happy, celebrate yourself, and then trust yourself. <laughs>